Good morning folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, today it's Sunday the 24th of October and uh, I'm out and about down in uh, Derbyshire sort of or that general neck of the woods. Um, I put an appeal out a week or so ago or a request out for a bit of um, support, a bit of info about where I could go um, and uh, very kindly a few people offered uh, options and uh, ideas as to where I could go and one of them appealed to me in particular an area that I'd never even heard of, never mind been to before called the Goit Valley uh, so I looked it up, sort of Derbyshire area and uh, I do sometimes come down to a place called Langset uh, Reservoir which uh, coincidentally is where I'm setting off from just now this is the car park of Langset Reservoir so um, yeah, Goit uh, Valley. So I had a look at it on Google Maps, it looked quite nice. And uh, it was a chap called Craig who has a YouTube channel called Ride Beyond. And he has a, uh, a Ninja 650 uh, from looking at his channel, unless he's changed his bike. So thank you very much, Craig, for that, for that suggestion. So I'm going to take you up on your uh, suggestion and have a little look around the Goit Valley and some of the surrounding areas around there. And we'll see what it holds for us. Now Craig mentioned to me that when he did it a couple of weeks or so ago the weather wasn't right good. I must admit it's not fantastic at the moment. We've got a bit of a mixed bag. It's uh, been raining a little bit on my way down here but um, it's not too bad. It's, it's only, what is it now, 10 degrees. It's brightening up a little bit. So I am going to have a little ride around and see what we can discover. Brought my drone with me, if it's not too windy, I will try and get some uh, aerial footage. But failing that, you'll just have to make do, I think, with the uh, onboard bike cameras. So, so there's two cars, fueled the way out of the car park. Yeah, so uh, let's see what today holds in store for us. So, by all means, pop over to uh, the YouTube channel, Ride Beyond, have a look at it if you like your Ninja 650s. And uh, leave a comment for him, subscribe to his channel if you so desire see if I can get out of this car park I don't think this uh, car in front of me this BMW knows the length of his vehicle right, off we go This car get out this junction. I'd just like to say a quick thank you as well uh, to those who have financially supported this YouTube channel, which allows me to obviously keep bringing these videos to you. Uh, I did put a request out in my last video that if anybody would be willing to make a small donation to buy me some fuel, etc., keep me uh, mobile that uh, I provided my PayPal details etc but they are in the description below and I'll put them on the screen now no obligation to do so but if you do it's much appreciated and as I said it's only through the generosity of people that watch these videos that allow myself in particular to continue riding uh, all year round if weather permits and keep bringing these videos to you uh, they are quite expensive to make with the runs you know the uh, the rides out and so forth and everything that it entails and the time putting the videos together afterwards so uh, yeah it's all appreciated so thank you very much for that Right, where were we? Let's enjoy these roads. So, as I said, never been down this neck of the woods before. I've no idea what to expect, other than perhaps a bit of rain today. Looks a bit bleak. Can't really see a great deal over there to my left. Everything's covered in a sort of a haze. Looks a bit brighter to the right but I'm not heading that way, which is typical. It's a big stately home there, some description. The old farmhouse. This is very bleak. I had hoped for weather better than this. 
Yeah, there's no way I'll be getting the drone up in when the wind's like this, that's for sure. caravan there, it looks like it's been smashed to smithereens. Oh, we got tailbacks, that's all we need. The Transpennine Trail, I wonder if that's a road or a route that allows you to go off road at some point. Yeah, is that a husky? It could be. Right, the lights have changed, let's see if we could look enough to get through. It's up to them if they want to do that. I'm not going down the outside of the traffic on double whites. I'm in no rush. Oh well, that wasn't too bad. Got through there okay. The old ruin down there. Welcome to Derbyshire. Please drive carefully. I'll do my best. It's a nice view to the left, all that moorland, even though it's a bit overcast and raining and cold. Looks quite beautiful, stunning. A little stream or a beck or something in the bottom down there, you can just see. That'd be quite nice out on a warmer day drier day, getting the drone down there, just flying it through the little valley. So yeah, so I've picked out on Google Maps a few of the locations uh, around the Goit Valley, so once I've been there, I've put in about three or four other waypoints, and uh, I'll just sort of uh, remind myself where they are, as and when I've completed the preceding waypoint. Uh, there's some ruins I'm going to go to uh, and various other locations but I suppose all that depends on the weather and accessibility and so forth but uh, we'll just see how it goes the idea today is just get out on the bike have some fun don't be put off by the rain you know as long as you ride accordingly to the weather conditions you can still have a damn good time out on your bike and that's all I'm trying to do today just get out and uh, have a bit of fun and at the same time, obviously, explore somewhere where I don't think I've necessarily been before. Thanks to a recommendation. I wonder if these are reservoirs or rivers or lakes or something of that nature. Possibly a reservoir. Oh, in fact it's come up Torside Reservoir according to the sat-nav. If I'd looked at that in the first place I'd have known exactly what it was. So yeah, so this is the A628 uh, from Langset. So off, uh, off the M1, Junction 36, down towards Sheffield North and then follow that road and uh, head towards, I think it's Manchester, Langsett's on the left hand side, Langsett Reservoir. And then as I said, oh, and as you've seen, obviously when I've come out of there, I've taken a left and just followed the route through. See, I don't mind riding in the rain. I think it sharpens up your skills a little bit. It can be beneficial for you. So I've just put the bike into rain mode. Again at this sort of speed I don't think it's going to make any major difference. But uh, it's there for a reason, might as well use it. So it looks like the government are doing a bit of scaremongering in regards to potential lockdowns imminently, either uh, throughout the country or regional ones. I'm sure we will have some further restrictions put on us as we approach Christmas. And also I'm not naive enough to think that I won't be able to ride 
or that I will be able to ride rather come uh, the more severe winter months so I do want to take advantage of the remainder of the time that we've got available to ride putting the weather aside as I said earlier don't mind riding in the rain too much it does sharpen up your skills a little bit but obviously like everybody I would prefer to ride in drier weather but uh, yeah I shall continue to ride as long as I can before the winter sets in and maybe we get some snow and ice and so forth and then I'll work out what I'm going to do to keep the YouTube channel active see if I can keep generating some material that will be of interest to everybody and keep you all coming back and watching so where are we now? Tin Twistle in the High Peaks never heard of it again try and keep this camera clear when I watch the video back from Alston Obviously, I uh, appreciate that towards the end of the ride it was uh, the camera lens kept getting covered. So, apologies for that. But the other camera on the handlebars, that seems to be clear, so that's good. Obviously, the screen's doing a good job there, keeping it clear, keeping it protected. Right, so in a mile, I'm going to take a left off here. Again, this is all new territory to me, I've no idea where I'm going or what to expect. I set the sat nav up for uh, curvy roads rather than fastest route. Hopefully that won't get me into trouble and send me up a goat track. So just entering now Hollingworth. Never heard of that either. So yeah, set it to curvy routes. So I shall try and be uh, have a try and have a bit of foresight. Have a look before I take a left or a right off any uh, major roads. Make sure, as I said, it's not going to take me up some really precarious path that isn't really suitable for a big heavy bike. Where's this car going? That's turning to the left. So, our first exit here onto the A57. then up here well, at least that's got me away from all that traffic trying to find somewhere to eat about one o'clock-ish or just a smidgen after Sure, if there's any sort of biker venues around here, or uh, whether it'll be a pub, anything like that will do me. I hope it's not going to be like this all the time, stopping and starting. I want to go, I want to flow. He's turning right, straight out. We're off again. Right, where are we going now then? Let's see what this sign says. Chapel and Le Firth. No, not Firth. Frith. Chapel and Le Frith. The clouds don't look quite as dark up ahead. There's even some white patches in the clouds. That's a promising sign. Although there's still cars coming towards me, the windscreen wipers going. So that's not a promising sign. And the wind's got up. The hands are burning, so I have to turn the uh, heated grips down a tad there. end up with third degree burns it's actually looking a bit clearer down here in this little valley this is 
more like it. Beautiful roads. Ah, the weather's a lot better here. Interesting rabbit. So this is my uh, right turning coming up here. The A6015 towards New Mills. Set Valley Trail and a village car park. So we're just heading towards the A6 now, it says uh, Whaley Bridge. The weather can't decide what it wants to do. I think it's settled on the fact that it is going to rain constantly, but to what degree? These speed limits are up and down, aren't they? One minute it's 30, then it's 40, then it's back to 30 again. Uh, it's getting a lot brighter here now. At least the rain's eased off a bit as well. Stick the bike back into, rain, into uh, road mode, I think. Certainly not raining here. So it looks like I take a left here towards Buxton. Great Valley. So second exit. So that's this way. Whaley Bridge, welcome to Whaley Bridge. Right, we're off 50 limit now. And roadworks. So potential for traffic. site there, the Goit Valley Camping. Don't think anybody will be camping there at this time of the year. So we've now just entered the Peak District National Park. So that's the view there. Oh, let me just come to a halt, turn that off. Just 
clear that in case you can't see it. So that's part of the Goit Valley. So I'm going to head down here. Looking out for the cars that aren't looking out for me. It's bleak down here. What have we got here? A nice view coming down here. Not sure why the sat nav's telling me to take a U turn. It was definitely signposted to the Goit Valley. Anyway, I'll get down to the bottom, see if it corrects itself. If not, no big deal. Sailing Club. Oh, yes. People there on windsurfs. I'll just pull up here. Turn that off for a moment. So yeah, so this is obviously a reservoir. A couple of guys there in a motorised dinghy, and some people there in a windsurf in uh, sailboards. Good place to practice. Certainly got the wind for it today. Right. Go on a bit further. I can't half shift some of those sails.
So we've got a car park down there and something called Kettles Hoom Appeal. I'll just pop down to the car park I think first of all. So this is, going to the sat nav, this is Irwood Reservoir on the left hand side. On this bleak October day. Right, so I shall turn around here. Just change the battery in the GoPro. That's just died on the handlebars. Back with you in a minute. Right, battery's changed in the camera, and we're good to go. So I'm just heading back up here, towards Goitz Lane. Unless this is Goitz Lane. Let's watch all these leaves. So it's like a little uh, boat park over there, isn't it? Uh, We're back into the wilderness, quite exposed here. Rain started again. God, it's windy up here. So I'm heading to a distillery now, called the Forest Distillery, which I saw on Google Maps. Go see if it's open, go see if it's worth a visit inside. So it's brightened up a lot now, you can see a lot further, a lot clearer now. So I'll just come into Cheshire now. Right, take a left here onto Penny Lane. This one I believe. Bull Hill Lane. And straight up. left here oh back into the land of bleakness so your average speed cameras here I won't be breaking any land speed records today Not in this wind
certainly up in the sky here. Distillery, follow this road it says. Stanley Arms food looks to be open, also looks to be quite busy. Let's just pull it in here. So where's this distillery? I'll just see if I can find that first. What have we got here? Farm, Torbeck Farm. So, this is it. So this is the Cat and Fiddle. <laughs> How do you do? Hi. Yeah, yeah. Am I right in thinking this isn't a pub anymore, is it, as such? Not as such. You've got to go in and register your bike number on a keypad. Right. So if you go in the door, uh -huh. on the far right-hand corner, yeah. there's like an iPad there. Okay. So put your registration plate in. All right. And then go from there, but I don't know. Right. Fair enough. Okay, give it a go. Thank you. So, Cat and Fiddle haven't been up here for a good few years. So, it's now a distillery. It used to be a very popular bikers gathering, obviously. And used to do a lot of car events here as well. Distillery tours and events, roaring fires, spirits, a beer and wine, and a bottle shop. Hot and cold food, hot and cold drinks to take away. So, is that the main entrance, or is that the main entrance? <laughs> How do you do? Uh, I don't have a booking. Yeah. I had to try to book, but the last booking year was like quite late on today. Yeah. Is there any chance to just sit like a, a few chips, a chip butter, a drink? We don't do chip butter, things like that. Well, something we've light. Got, we've got, I think we've got two cheese onion pies and we've got a vegan superfood pie. Yeah, something like that. Just a pie and gravy. <laughs> so, Yankee Charlie. Alright then, start new route. Oops, not quite sure why I did that. So, this is the old, well, this is the Cat and Fiddle, which is now a distillery. Uh, it used to be obviously just a, a regular pub, I think, and restaurant -y type thing. Uh, so, I've just popped in there. I, I had in my sat nav Forest Distillery. Now, I don't know whether that is a different distillery. In fact, no, it's not. Just looking at the sign there, it says Forest Distillery underneath the Cat and Fiddle sign. So, uh, yeah, so this is where I was going all along. So I put the, I don't understand that though, because I put the Forest Distillery in and I also put in Can Fiddle, and I'm sure it brought up two different waypoints. So, no idea why or how that happened. 
But uh, yeah, so I had a spot of lunch there. Very nice, just a little bit of a pie, some gravy. Um, so that'll keep me going till I get home. And I was going to go to uh, Matlock Bath from here, but as you can see from the weather, uh, I don't think it's worth it on this particular occasion. I'll save that for another day. So I'm going to head back from here, go back home, which will probably take me a good hour and a half. But yeah, still glad I came. Not a bad ride I'd out. So thank you very much Craig from Ride Beyond YouTube channel for recommending uh, Goit Valley and then obviously I've just added this little bit on but uh, again you know it's recommendations from people that assist us in finding suitable locations to get out and explore because I would probably not have come up here to be fair had somebody not suggested it. Um, I know me you know you play it safe don't you you know you go sort of Lake District type places things like that uh, and as much as I enjoy that I've done it multiple times so it is nice just to go somewhere different for a change so yep I think it is it's certainly a good few years since I've been up here so it even looks like it's getting a bit dark will be won't it we're nearly into November put the clocks back but forward if we do what well, we do some of clocks next weekend I can never remember which way around to go I've got my heated grips on I'm just taking the chill off the bars well, at least it's not raining yet Puts it down to 8 degrees now. Hardly surprising considering how high we are. Watch out for the slippery leaves. It smells like somebody's been out uh, muck spreading on the fields there. That's quite ripe. So we're now into Macclesfield. Anyway, I think I'll wrap the video up there. So uh, if you've watched it this far, thank you very much indeed. Uh, it's a shame it wasn't a bit brighter, a bit drier. Um, we, it's a shame we couldn't see a bit more scenery. But uh, <coughs> nevertheless, nevertheless, I've enjoyed uh, coming out pastures new, seeing something different, seeing something that I haven't previously seen and that's been recommended to me by another biker. So thank you very much indeed for that. Um, if you haven't uh, already subscribed and you like the style of videos that I do, please consider subscribing, hit the notification bell, usual bits and bats, you'll be notified then each time I put a video out. Uh, I've previously been trying to put a video out every week, but realistically now, with the winter fast approaching and the weather deteriorating as it is, I'm going to strive to get a video out every two weeks. Uh, that's the plan, um, and hopefully I'll be able to stick to that, certainly for the uh, foreseeable future and I might try and do different things um, videos out of bike rides or whatever else I can conjure up so uh, yeah if that's your thing please subscribe as I said and I hope you enjoyed watching it and I'll catch you on the next video all right take care see you later